Howdy who and welcome to Nev's Gaming. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Well, maybe a whole week. But, oh, this street is coming along lovely. I hope you're all doing well. Make sure you like and subscribe, squeeze that in at the start. But yes, we are here building once again on Industrial Foregoing Avenue. Uh, I've not built on that side yet. I'm trying to keep everything under shuffle going onto one side. And I think, I think I'm able to do it. Because I've got a plan for next episode, which involves explosions. Depending on how much time we've got, it may happen in this episode. But you'll just have to wait and see, won't you? Right then, you're probably wondering why I've got no helmet on. That's because I had some scuba gear on. I've just come back from making some glass. Not just any glass, dark clear glass at the communal home. Basically, that's used in an alloy smelter with some ink sacs and some glass. That stops light coming through. The reason being is because we've also created another thing. We even created the mob slaughter factory. Why have we created the mob slaughter factory? Well, it produces pink slime. And why do we want pink slime? Well, for these. Pink slime ingots. Look at that. Pink slime ingots. And then we make them just by doing that. Simple. We need one of these. A fluid sieving machine. Which we'll be able to uh, create, I believe, if we go... Where are we? If we have a look here, it is made out of a pink slime ball. That's why we want pink slime. And how do we make pink slime? Well, we can kill it by spawning it. It's in mob drops. Oh, there's a lot. Of light. Yep, that's how we make pink slime. Oh, God, it's getting nighttime. Uh, have I got a bed on me? No, I've not got a bed on me. Where's my bed? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Panic, panic. There's no bed. There's no bed. Where did I put my bed? Panic over. Wow, that was not what I wanted to do. But we're not going to move on to slime just yet. No, 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 no. Remember last time we got some f sewage? Well, this time we're going to hook it up. So uh, this is going to be another back alley here. So this is going to be a separate building. I'm going to hook these up and fill up this here with some sewage. And then we'll start with the sewage composter. And there it is. The nice and simplest build ever. We've got our sewage getting pumped in from the building next door from these lovely little pigs. Look at them producing all that. All that meat and all that sewage for us to get some fertilizer. Well, that's fine. We'll jump over here. As you can see, it's powered through the back. No, it's not. I need power. Power this thing up right then. And then we just need to configure this side to pull. And then we should see this start producing some... There we go. Bosh. In we go. Look at that. We've got two fertilizer already. Now, why would we require fertilizer? Well, it's used for making brown terracotta. Uh, brown dye, basically. We can use that as, which is good. So we don't have to look for cocoa beans. If we go in the alloy smelter, you can see it's made for organic brown dye. There. Basically, brown dye. Brown dye. Lots, lots and lots of brown dye. It's also used for making hydrator, which if we shift there, um, the hydrator basically makes the plants grow faster. Also making for brown laser lens, so we can uh, actually make artificial dyes. And finally, this thing down here, when we move on to Industrial Craft 2, we can use it for the color upgrade world control. If we click on that, it doesn't really tell us anything about it, but we'll find out. Oh my god, it's night time already. Night time again, and I just threw that out of panic. I really need to find my bed. I can't remember where to put it down. The next thing I wanted to look at is this. I've made three of them. The villager trader exchanger. The reason being is if we click this, it's when provided with power and a mob imprisonment tool with a villager in it, it will give you access to automatically trade with a villager. Now, I want to. the trouble is, to get this, we actually need a gas. Where are we? Uh, click that again. No. Trouble is, the imprisonment tool here, sorry, is made with a gas tier. So, uh, I need to take a quick trip to the nether. Wish, wish me luck. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity 
Well, we're back from the nether, and we got a wide variety of goods, to be fair, and this new skin. Well, uh, I am now ablaze with a headset on and an eyepiece. I look awesome. But we got the most important thing, the gas tiers. We got some other bits and pieces, pieces as well. Some ash, some imp leather, some raw imp hide, uh, molten core. Just random little bits and pieces that we'll store up. But now it's time to make the mob imprisonment tool and then see if we can't get these villager traders working all right let's choose what mobs we are going to actually keep so we're def definitely going to um, utilize this librarian here so uh how do i do this now do i shift and do it yes so it's shift and click what have we got we've got i'm sure we've got some butchers let's take a quick look so we can get some emeralds from these butchers using the raw pork chop. So I think we'll uh, imprison one of them as well. And I think we'll go for one more. Who we got? We got butcher here. What does he want? Nah. What do you want? So we could sell you. You're a leather worker. And I think we'll choose one of these steel forges because I'm hoping we get to see all the other, like different types of trades that I get. Well, can supply. So we're gonna go now and put these into the uh, the reason I'm flying by the way is I'm still ablaze I actually love this thing is rapid at flying and it's got full health but yeah we're gonna put these now in the villager trading stations and then see what happens so we'll start with the villager where do we put that do we put it in here and then what happens now I don't get it Oh, there we go. I had it in the wrong slot there. So now we, this is our paper villager. So now we can actually see what trades it's going to do. And it looks like it gives you the price as well about what we can actually achieve from this villager trader. Two room books, uh, clock, glass. Well, it cycles through. So let's move everyone over. So this is the butcher. Four autumn pork chops, some coal. Uh, ooh, some cut chicken there. So that's what it can provide at the minute. Let's put you in there. What can you provide? So, 19 charcoal will give us an emerald, 10 coal coke, and some iron ingots. So, that's all you're selling at the minute. So, that's a nifty little trick that we can utilize. We'll keep that there for now, but we'll move on to the next item on the agenda, which is going to be the pink slime. Why do we want the pink slime? Because obviously, we want this. The infinity drill, and I intend to get that this episode, so well, let's move on. How do we make that? Well, we need something called the mob slaughter factory, and then once we've uh, set up the mob slaughter factory in this area here, it's going to be a very, very big building, I think. Um, we'll start collecting the pink slime. Uh oh, it's bed time, so I need to lay my bed down and actually transform back. A chamber where hopefully all the mobs are going to be spawning in. As you can see now, it is all red in there. So uh, let's see if any mobs will spawn and see if we can get anything out of here. I've got all this set up ready to see. Hopefully we'll have pink slime going into one and then we'll have uh, whatever else we can get. Maybe I think it's raw meat or something like that into the other. But we'll soon see. I'm going to AFK for a little while, say about five minutes, see if any mobs spawn. If not, then we're just going to put some chickens and do build something like that in the area does look like this is the best distance away as you can see my blaze again but 
it gives us that little bit of a buffer. I have seen a couple of mobs spawn in there. Let's go take a quick peek. Have we got, what have we got, what have we got in here? So we've got some liquid meat, absolutely lovely, and nothing in there. Hmm. So I just had to swap them over, now we've got liquid meat in one, and pink slime in the other. But let's have a look what the liquid meat is actually used for. If we click on this here, you can see here, if we go into the washing factory, it's actually used for making oils, which is fantastic, is what we'll need in the future. That all comes into this area here where we will be times in our ores and so we put what we want in with the ore and the liquid meat and then bosh we get extra well we get all the goods we require and then obviously ooh, the pink slime here will need to go into where are we pink slime here will need to go into a fluid sieving station once we've obviously uh, where are we? Fluid, fluid, fluid. We'll need to go in there, but the trouble is for this, we actually require a pink slime. Now, the only way to get the pink slime is obviously having one form, so we need to wait for all this pink slime to uh, fill up in here. Uh, once that's filled up, we'll get a bucket, we'll put it on the floor, and we'll wait for a pink slime to spawn, and then we'll destroy that. Whoa. Now we've just got to patiently wait. With a quick trip to the nether, we got some nether goodies here. We've even got a few blaze rods and also this blaze lantern. Absolutely amazing. Right, I am sick of waiting for this purple, sl uh, purple slime, pink slime. So I'm going to make this duplicator while we're missing here, steel casing. So I am tired of waiting for all these mobs spawn and all this pink slime to spawn. So I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do it myself and I'm going to uh, do it this way. I'm going to make this mob duplicator. Where are we? Mob duplicator. Craft that. Oh yeah, I forgot we got nether wart as well. So that can go back in there so we don't lose it. Uh, next, we are going to make a mob a mob imprisonment tool. And there we go. Now we've just got to find our specific mob that we're going to actually use. Uh, what shall we pick? Well, this horse here has decided to say hello, so we are going to pick the horse. I have also moved my miner to here now, so we can mine out a bigger area. Unfortunately, I moved it two blocks um, forward, so we, there may be a bit left for us to do after it's finished. Or I may just move it back two blocks and sort it out that way. But let's sort out this mob duplicator and figure how it works. Well, it looks like it needs to be placed above, not below according to this oh no it can be so it looks like we are going to go and place it in the middle of the actual room I'm gonna place you inside there I presume Ooh, it looks like what do you require fluid essence how do we get fluid essence essence how do we get that so we need it in a fluid dictionary converter so how do we go about doing that then so we can actually convert into XP as well um, right, how do we get essence though? So it looks like we need one of these, a fluid dictionary converter, which will transfer normal XP into that. So my plan is to use one of these XP, where are we? XP, we need an XP, where is it, where is it, where is it? It is a XP drain from open blocks, which is just grids. We can also use the open blocks, uh, like glass funnel thing if we wanted to as well but we're going to utilize one of these as well as the fluid dictionary converter so here's the plan we pump this from here all the xp into the fluid generator and then the fluid generator then pumps that all the way down into into here if we jump down and then pull up good thing about this it doesn't actually need any power so which is coming in handy so we can do that and then no pull yeah that should work now and if we go like so we've got 23 points now in theory if we stand on there it will then pull out the xp let's find out so there goes our xp all draining away into the into the chest as you can see here it's all nice and shiny but all our 23 levels are actually going down now. There we go. We've got no more levels. And it's getting pumped into here. Now. 
it's all connected up now we should start seeing some mobs get spawned as you can see here I've stood on there and the liquid XP is now going into here which is the fluid essence changing it from liquid XP to fluid essence now we just got to figure out why this is not going into here so I can actually move the essence with a bucket and we put that in there you can actually hear the uh, poor horses dying uh, the reason I picked horses is because you can actually hear that scream because I'm well evil <laughs> But, why is it not going in from there? Do I have to have it from the front? Let's check, shall we? Go down. Anything? Maybe we need to change that to pull. Is that going to do it? Are we going to see essence coming into here? No, we're still not seeing Oh, because I, I haven't set it up like that, that's why. So, we'll head up to the top. Go back into here. Click on the output to change it to front. So why then did it not go below? There we go. So that's now pumping up, killing the horses. Ah, uh, oh, it is night time, so I've got to watch out for all these other mobs. Maybe I can lead them in. There we go. We'll clear out all these mobs, get some XP from it, and fill up the XP. Here. Like we do have enough for pink slime now. Let's block these horses in and watch as they all disappear. So I got a little more XP from the knight, so we're going to stand back on here now so we can fill up that XP once again. There we go. I don't know why it doesn't empty at all, but we have got enough pink slime now. Now, if we bucket this pink slime, and in theory, if we make a nice little hole for this, so let's go here pink slime should appear and we'll be able to get some pink slime mobs. So we finally got our four pink slime. That means we can create our white laser lens now at last. We built it up, we got the XP, we used an XP drain into this to turn it obviously into there and create the horses. But while I was waiting for all that to happen, look what I made. I made this. This here is a washing factory and it obviously washes ores uh, it requires the liquid fluid meat. You put the ores in there. In fact, let me go get some more. All right, so I've got some more now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it into this top box here. This will be with iron ore, and then it'll drag it into there. Why are none of my machines working currently? There we go. Why aren't you pulling? Uh, let's check. That's not input. There we go. Up. Let's see if this works now. If I go. Gosh, there we go. Uh, I had it configured wrong, of course I did. Right, moving on then, that's going to move into this thing here, which is the fermentation station. It needs hot and cold sauce, so I've had to put lava on the bottom, water on the top. I did try to use ice, but for some reason that didn't work. But that's going to create, where are we? That's creating a raw iron ore meat, mixing sure with the meat that we've got all stocked up. Well, what we did have stocked up anyway. Uh, if we move over to here, this mixes with sand then, and then it produces some pulverized iron. Then we just smelt that, and then jobs are good in. What I have found, though, is that you need a st per stack, you need one sand, and it's just not resourceful, especially when I'm getting four times ores over here. I'm only getting three times ore over here. So it just doesn't work. And yes, I'm a blaze because I get to fly about. I'm a little flying about. But let's make this lens, and let's make this a drill. Now, remember, we needed the force line in order to make the... Uh, white lens for the laser drill let's just check we don't need anything else for the black hole no which we well we just need ender eyes but on two buckets but we'll do that right now one laser drill created well ladies and gentlemen looks like we will be able to make this drill now yes now all we got to do is go and charge it and i think if we head over to our main charging area over here in our base we should I'm hoping be able to charge it ourselves. Uh, let's, let's let's see if it charges it. Gonna charge up our. It's gonna charge up our. Uh, what is that? It's gonna charge up atomic assembly. Yes, look where it go. So the more power it has, apparently, the more area it'll be able to. Wait, what? So yeah, that's there we go. So we just gotta let this charge. And the more charge it has, 
the bigger area is. So we're going to stop here and let that charge up. Well, you know I was waiting for that drill to charge like an absolute wally. And you know why the XP wasn't going in? Well, this is why. I had the wrong item in here. Basically, I had some essence or I had some things that shouldn't have been in there. But instead of waiting for, ouch, instead of waiting for, you know, the uh, drill to actually charge up fully and waiting on the charging pad, I came over to my big battery and then I just placed it in there. And look what happens. It charges incredibly, incredibly fast. Admittedly, it does take up a lot of the power. As you can see now, it is just in, just draining it completely. But we have now got an 11 by 11. We can increase this to 13 by 13, but I am not waiting that long. Not a chance. Am I waiting? It'll take, ooh, in fact, no, 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 it's different numbers. It's like 900,000. We'll just, we'll just utilize that for now. We'll just utilize that. I'll go back to the input for there, because as you can see, we're producing a lot of power, and we'll head over to our mine to test it out. So ha look at the animation of this as well while we're holding it. So how does this work? Well, if we hold shift and right click on it. Wait. There we go. For some reason, you have to be in this view to change it, but you can change the area from... 1x1, one 3x3, one, 5x5, three three, five 7x7, five, 9x9, seven seven, nine nine, and 11x11. Eleven eleven. So let's go test this out. Just like this. Look, look, whoa. So we can aim here, I believe. Yeah, so just two inches off the ground. And then... Whoa. That is... Insane, and we've just thingy up. Our spawner as well there, so we'll carry on doing this and see if we can't get any ores. That took us all of like five seconds and I've got an inventory full of stuff already. This thing is absolutely amazing, so let's just drop that, drop you. Oh god, right, uh, let's, I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed with all the stuff that we've got. We've got mushrooms. What else have we got? We've got some silver ore there. Let's pick up what we can before it all despawns. Look at that. It looks like we've got some silicon there. There we go. Oh, redstone. Redstone always comes in handy. Bosh. Right, there we go. Looks like, is that clay? That looks like clay. We don't need clay. But within literally about 10 seconds, we made this massive, massive mine and we filled our inventory. This thing is amazing and is better than this. Well, almost on par. But that is it, the end of industrial foregoing. Well, that's what we're going to end it on anyway. The reason being is, if we have a look here, we've got um, fluid pumps that just pump the water. You can also use the wither builder as well to build withers. There's, um, we made this drill utilising the laser drill and the black hole tank. Um, but you can make them in normal and utilise them. We've, we've made the mob duplicator. There's not much more that we would need to make apart from the generators and or else. That's about it, really. The generators, there's nothing else that we would require out of this mod. So, apart from maybe the dyes, but we can create them now just utilizing the pink slime. Now we know how to do that. Well, that was invigorating, wasn't it? Inf industrial foregoing was an absolutely fantastic ending. We got plenty of resources out of it. And we got everything that we require. Let's go take a quick trip down the road before we end the episode. Starting off in here where we made our original first little uh, tree fluid extractor. Going into the block placer which led into the petrified fuel generator. Which latex processing unit which made into the resourceful furnace to produce all this plastic for us. Ah, oh, then we've got a dye mixer here. And then if we go above... Up the top here, let's transform into something that can fly. There we go. We can see here we've got the cedars underneath the plants. Oh, sorry, which is planting all the trees. We've got the plant gatherer, and then we've even got a sludge refiner, which produces some ores. Uh, if we click in here, you can see that we get sand and clay and gravel, stuff that we can use for concrete to actually place over these. Next, we have our farms here that are providing all the wheat. 
What have we got? Actually, we've got wheat, we've got carrots for the pigs, and we've got barley to make our burgers. Oh, fantastic little build this was. Producing a high rate, hence why we've got a load of buckets there. Moving on to the next build here, we've got our cow breeder, which is... Well, breeding the cows nicely, getting all our XP there. Fantastic, it's breeding all the cows. Here we go, we'll get all, all that XP. Beautiful. Oh, more's coming over. There we go, and we've got our pigs on this side as well, breeding up to get our pork meat. Ooh, not only that, we've also got milk in here to make all the cheese that we require. We can get rid of this. Uh, that's going to stay there, actually, because it's providing the grass fields to the sheep, where we are utilising the animal rancher, which collects milk and um, it shears the sheep as well, so we can get all the uh, goods and items that we require from there. Moving over here, this is where everything's getting collected. As you can see, we've got plenty of pork, plenty of raw beef, and some tallow. Uh, in this chest here, we've got plenty of wool. In fact... We're almost onto our next chest full of wool. Oh, absolutely a fan dabby dozy. Moving on to the next building here. It's a bit of a cramped and bit of a bit of a finisher one. We've got our sewage composter here that is making lots of compost. Well, lots of fertilizer. We've got our villager trade exchanger here where we can actually just leave gold um, emeralds in, click through the trades, and see what we want per one. I think I'm going to make a wall of these in the future over time. Here we have the pink slime and the fluid sieve in order to get the pink uh, in, uh, pink bars, um, pink slime bars, sorry. And in this side is the meat, liquid meat refinery area. Um, basically, the liquid meat gets uh, mixed with an ore. It goes into this here where we require hot and cold and it produces the fermented ore, depending on what it is. It goes into the fluid sieve. Mix in, mix with a bit of sand, and it produces all these pulverized gold and iron, which we then can smelt up. Over here is our XP drainer, which will drain the XP. And if we fly over here quickly, you'll see there that the mob duplicator will spawn the sheep in, and then the oh, I can't remember what it's called, but the uh, what machine is it? It is the mob slaughter factory that kills all the mobs in a certain area. And then it produces the pink slime and the liquid meat. Ooh, absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to end the episode there. I've been Nevs Gaming. Hope you've enjoyed this part of the pack. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Where we're going to blow some stuff up. Good.